Hi, welcome back to FamiSafe channel. So yesterday my son asked me about installing Snapchat on his phone. He's only 11 years old, but many of his friends already have it. But he's still too young for Snapchat right now. Snapchat, like Instagram, TikTok and Facebook, has an age limit of 13 and that's for a good reason. In my opinion, Snapchat's disappearing messages feature means that people feel like they get a free pass at sending inappropriate content to others. There is also a high rate of cyberbullying on a platform and the Snapchat My AI bot is potentially a privacy concern. But Snapchat now has some parental controls that us parents can take advantage of. It will allow us to see all of our child's friends and who they've messaged with in the past seven days as well as allowing us to report any accounts that we are worried about. So here's how you can go about doing all of that. First of all, we need to set up the Snapchat Family Center. Create a login to your personal Snapchat account. From your profile, tap Add Friends and add your child by searching their username. Then return to your profile. Tap the gear icon in the top right corner to get into settings. Under Privacy Control, tap Family Center and select your child's name. Send invitation. Log in to your child's account or ask them to access it on their phone. From their profile, tap Add Friends and then your username. Tap view invitation and then accept. On your own account, you can now tap your child's profile in the family center to see their activity. Besides family center, Snapchat features many functions to help your, your child manage who can actually see their content and how they interact with others. The My AI chatbot is automatically added to all Snapchatters' contact lists. And the only way to remove it is by subscribing to Snapchat Plus. But you can delete My AI data on a regular basis is to keep your child's data more private. To delete my AI data from your profile, tap the gear icon to open your settings. On Android, scroll down to account actions and tap clear my AI data, then confirm. So where can I delete dreams data? The Dreams feature of Snapchat uses AI to generate new images based on selfies that you provide. This is how you can delete the Dreams data. In your settings, under My Account, select AI Selfies. If you have saved data, you will see options to delete it. If you do not have saved data, you will see an option to create AI selfies. If you have saved data, you can select clear my AI selfies to delete it. You can also customize who can generate dreams featuring you. It's best to set this to only me. We've all been guilty of reaching for our phones as soon as message buzzes. So managing your child's Snapchat notifications can really help them to manage their screen time. Here's how to turn off notifications. From your home screen, tap your profile image in the top left corner to get to your profile. On your profile page, tap the gear icon in the top right corner. Select notifications and choose which notifications you would like to receive. Untick any that you don't want to turn them off. You can also customize whether notifications have sound, lights or vibrations. I recommend that if your child is under 18, you can change this setting so that only friends can contact them. There are numerous horror stories out there about predators being able to contact children and groom them via apps like Snapchat and this can really help. Go to your profile and tap the gear icon in the top right corner. Scroll down to privacy control and tap contact me. Tap either friends or friends and contacts. You can manage chat settings for each friend your child messages. This can limit what kind of contact they have as well as how long messages last or whether your child will receive notifications from the users. Go to the user's profile. You can do this by going to the chat and tapping on the user's profile image. Tap the three horizontal dots in the top right corner. Select chat settings. Toggle on off each option that you would like to manage. So who can view my story? You can limit who can see your child's story by selecting either everyone, friends only, or creating a custom list. To manage who can view your story, you do this. Go to your profile and tap the gear icon in the top right corner. Scroll down to privacy control and tap view my story. Select who can view your story. With the custom list, you can block individual contacts. So how do I turn off my location? 
Well, this is pretty simple. Again, if your child is under 18, then I recommend turning off the location feature on Snapchat. The app is set to ghost mode by default, but you should talk to your child about the reasons why they should never actually share their location because some kids may not see the danger that it actually represents. If it's turned on, then here's how you can turn it off. From your home page, select the location pin in the bottom left corner. Tap the gear icon in the top right corner. Select ghost mode to completely hide your location. Alternatively, you can choose to hide your location from specific people. Also, toggle on hide my live location to turn off live location updates. If toggled off, your location updates in real time, even if the app is actually switched off. You can get to location settings from your profile as well. Simply scroll down your profile to your snap map and tap on the arrow below the map. You can also go to your privacy settings and scroll down to see my location. You should show your child how to remove, report or block someone if they're receiving unwanted attention from them, whether they have been threatening, abusive or inappropriate. To report, block or remove somebody, simply do this. Go to their profile. You can do this by going to your chat list and tapping their profile image. Tap the three horizontal dots in the top right corner. Select Manage Friendship. Tap Report to report them. Select the reason and tap Submit. Alternatively, tap Block to block them and Remove Friend to remove them. So where can I report content? You can report content that is offensive, hateful, or that otherwise goes against Snapchat's community guidelines. To report content in the Snapchat story or spotlight, you do this. While watching a story, either tap the three dots in the top right corner or long press the story itself. Tap report, select the reason for reporting and add an explanation if needed before tapping submit. Even though Snapchat's parental controls allow you to limit exposure to sensitive content, they can't completely shield your child from receiving inappropriate materials directly from others or from content shared by their friends. Additionally, these controls don't prevent your child from actively seeking out content that you might find unsuitable. Parental controls on any digital platform Form are now a foolproof safeguard for your child's safety. We as parents have to actively monitor their phone and internet usage and educate them about the potential risks in order to keep them safe online. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date with the latest info because kids are always finding ways to get around our controls, right? If you enjoyed this video, then please press the like to let us know. Also share it with your friends or anybody else who may find it useful. Leave a comment if you feel like it, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.